I'm now visiting Hearts Hill Castle. Formerly a castle, it's now ruins. Structurally unsound and on a high risk register due to erosion. Part of the structure. So I've been a bit naughty, I've climbed a fence. Well, sand climbed it, I stepped over it just to get a little bit closer. But you can see it's really falling to bits. A little bit of history disappearing. Which is such a shame. That's a cool window. I hope there's no snakes. So there's definitely not a lot to see. It's just a crumbling, crumbling mess. Oh, interesting. part of the castle wall there and then as with most castles there's a body of water nearby which I would assume would have been the moat and that's directly down there. I like swimming that to be fair. It's really green. Look how thick that would have been. Interests me as well is the thought that if you were to dig an archaeological dig or something, what treasures, what interesting artifacts would you find? I'd love to be part of something like that. Anyhow, I think I need a bit more practice with the drone. However, <laughs> some of the uh, Hartsville, Hearts Hill Castle, there's an actual total wreck and is crumbling and is on the at-risk register. But I'll add some in history of the, the place in and see if I can find any pictures online. I did try to get the drone up, but need to uh, practice a little bit. My arms are stung to buggery. There you go, stinging nettles got me. Where were they from? I'm quite far back on the roadside now. Which is there. And it's not easy to get to that place or to the ruins now. I think because it's so dangerous they don't want anybody going near it. So there's fencing all around. But you know, 
still young enough to climb things. And I did. Walking through the forest thinking she's 31 or 13. Looking for the drone. All fun at the fair. Drone retrieved. Here comes Lisa Grills. <laughs>